Hey yo, intro check, let's go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, uh, yeah, man, how you doing? Come on, you come good? On, I know you like that. Yeah, you I know oh, you like that. How long you been back, man? Welcome, 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 I see the girls in the club, they're getting wild for me. And all the pretty chicks all wanna smile at me. These rap cats, man, they all got this style for me. And if I ever see them, man, they probably bow to me. And when this beat drop, I know they gon' lean. World debut. I hey, what's up? If you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and slash that like button. And also, please, if you like what I do and the content I produce and you want to get down with the family, you know what to do. Annihilate that subscribe button. Also, hit that post notification bell. And while you're at it, leave me comments down below. And oh yeah, by the way, welcome back. My name is Mark. Let's go. Hey yo, Kyle De Niro, you're next up on the docket. But before we get into this reaction, huge shout out to... Yes, shout out to all my MVPs. Hey yo, so check it. This is the People versus Kyle De Niro. And we are going to be doing a reaction to his track, What If. And we're going to see if the verdict is that if this song is a bop or a flop. I love Kyle De Niro ever since my first reaction that I did of his with the diss track against um, Calligraphy. I believe that that was the um, artist's name. But I'm not going to hold y'all. We're just going to just jump straight into this reaction because I cannot wait to hear what Kyle De Niro has to say on this track. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm just gonna think loud of right here, man. Let's ask some questions, man. Let's ask some questions. Man. <laughs> what if, yo? Thinking out loud, you know what I mean? Let's go. Okay, so already I just want to say that this is a thing that I'm noticing about Kyle De Niro that I love. He has really one of these like New York City mentalities, like the New York City, like when you were like the like the come up DVDs that come out in New York City of the up and coming artists that are out there trying to break onto the scene. Like he definitely has one of those hunger type mentalities from them, especially the way that he starts off his videos. I think it's so dope and creative and it, and it reminds the world that he's hungry and that he's not settling for a second best that he's always gonna have that CEO mindset even when he's a worker that he's always gonna sit there and stay well he's always gonna have that worker mindset even when he's a CEO to keep working hard and pushing towards the top and I love that about him but let's get back into it let's ask some questions man <laughs> what if yo thinking out loud you know what I mean let's go let's go uh huh. Uh -huh. Woo. Yeah. Huh. Hey, yeah. What if slavery never took place? Yeah. All black people intact, chilling at the same place. Rappers, athletes, still in the modern land. Will the U.S. and fair man be growing at the same pace? Uh -huh. What if? Mandela never did 27, this part hell, part paradise, is it that rich folks you are already in heaven, when you run up in the church, man, and bury up the reverend, what if I was white, will those cops give me a break, no, my life's the same right, or never get a Okay, so I love this. I love this. I love this. I love when artists get in their bag. And this is what I'm talking about when I speak about artists, when they get in this reflective state and they start speaking from like their inner truths in the depths of how they actually feel. And they are not allowing um, the people who are sitting at the top who are these executives within the music industry to censor or silence their voice. And he's basically speaking on the issues that affect him and he's letting that be known and i love when artists do that where they don't allow the machine to censor them and they stay true to themselves because we have like a lot of artists who sit there and dabble in this world of trying to straddle the line of not offending anybody and basically trying to appease everyone and I love when an artist can sit there and sit back and be like yo no I'm gonna make the music that I want to make I'm gonna speak about the issues that I want to speak on and if it offends people so what but at least I spoke my truth and I can and I appreciate that from artists and I can appreciate that from Kyle as well let's get back into it Church man and bury up the reverend. What if I was white? Will those cops give me a break? No, my life's the same right. Or never get the thought of should a get dead on play sight. You ain't not know who fits the agony. What if it happened if the sister was Kissy Anthony? Huh? 
<laughs> I'm just thinking right now, you know, man. What is wrong? It's real deep, man. Word up. Huh? What if? Questions I would love to ask. Reminisce about the past. Writing moves to get the cash. What if? The whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings in the middle list. What if? Some questions I would love to ask. Reminisce about the past. Writing moves to get the cash. What if? The whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings hey, in yeah, the middle uh, list. What if 50 was never shot? Will he be as high? This track is dedicated to the game of hip hop. Try to Whoa, do that was a bar. I like that. He said, what if 50 wasn't shot? Will he still be as hot? And it's so crazy because I actually thought about that too. And that he's speaking it into existence. Because even with 50 being from Queens and Southside, where is where I'm from, it's like I sat there and thought about that constantly like would he sit there and be as dope as he is but i kind of feel like 50 got into the position that he was because of the uh, the way that he approached the rap game and trying to like annihilate everybody in his path and how he tried to like dismantle which he pretty much kind of did him and his group with g unit they kind of dismantled basically uh murder inc they dismantled them and basically almost made them non-existent with ja ruling them and then he also attacked um if i'm not mistaken terra squad and fat joe and them and how they were but let's get back into this Really be as high. This track is dedicated to the game of hip hop. Try to do it all like my name was Jamie Foxx. Well, I sell platinum records for talking reckless. Eat MCs for dinner, lunch, and even breakfast. Spit fire all day till the breathless. What if the president named Black? The KKK came back. Robby, will you get up and ride to get your chain back? What if we live for free, never get to pay the bills? What if only nice rappers get the crazy deals? Trying to send it with does that back account or maybe wills? Okay, so can we speak on that? Cause I'm sorry. If all the nice rappers got the crazy deals, like where would your faves go that who don't speak of anything of substance? That would be crazy. And I don't even think that the world would be ready for those artists who actually that can actually spit and actually have talent was to sit there and become up and those other ones that are that convolute basically the top you they would basically be non-existent like they they would have no space and i don't think the world would be ready for it because when you allow that's why a lot of people tend to reject the unfamiliar that's why they tend to sit there and shun people who actually speak the truth they rather they rather believe a lie than listen to the truth and that's just facts and i love that how Kyle was bringing that into um into fruition on his track. I think he is so dope and amazing the way he attacks tracks. Let's get back into this. So I maybe will. What if? Uh, questions I would love to ask. Yeah. Reminisce about the past. Right, it wants to get the cash. What if? The whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings in the middle list. What if? Some questions I would love to ask. Reminisce about the past. Right, it wants to get the cash. What if? The whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings uh, in right. the middle list. What if? All is true that is biblical. Bob Marley's still here with us and the physical. Pascal Big never left us, you're so pitiful. Every rapper livable, nobody living miserable. What if I get the chance to see my grandkids move around the world? Here's what the plan is. Ask my label exactly what the advance is. So many things I couldn't figure out. Why waste the precious time in Sierra Leone and then take a bigger route? Like get a big amount. I almost said it for less. When you and I know, man, I can handle the test. Break critical records with nice. When I think, man, beautiful breakfast Yeah, it's been a hey. percentage So go global with it Watch your known believers I said, told you did it Count the never out of Ferrer in the house Blowing up without a doubt What if up, What if Woo. What if Stick it out loud, man You know what I'm saying? So much shit going on in the world, yo Rest in peace, Trey Williams What if Questions I would love to ask Reminisce about the past Right, it wants to get the cash What if the whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings in the middle list. What if? Some questions I would love to ask. Reminisce about the past. Black and wants to get the cash. What if? The whole world live in peace. No more bombs, no more killings in the middle list.
Oh wow, I wonder what, what's the next song after this? I definitely want to know what the next song was after that. Because Kyle De Niro is so boss and so badass. Can we just sit here and say that? Okay, so let's quickly talk about Kyle De Niro with What If. I'm going to sit here and say he bodied this. The verdict is this was a whole bop. And what I love about it is because, like I say about Kyle De Niro, I love the mentality that he approaches his tracks. Because, like I said, he is so savage and so animal on his on tracks that he has no holes barring. Like I said, he has this worker's mentality even when he's as a ceo he claws his way to the top and he never sees the finish line and he keeps just going and going and going to strive to be the best his he epitomizes what rap is you want flow you want consistency you want bars you want punch lines you want attitude you want everything that he basically had in this track and more like he embodies Everything that he put on this track, I thought he did a phenomenal and amazing job with this. And like I said, he really put it in the proper perspective for me of basically being like one of those hungry rappers who are trying to break in th into the industry. Like I said, it reminded me of the Come Up DVDs from New York, where you see the New York artists when they're on there and they're trying to get their big break and they sell those DVDs. Like I thought he did a phenomenal job with that. He killed that. That was a body. A body, a body, a body. I love the intellectual genius that he possessed in there where he did this self-reflective type of vibe and was basically questioning the going against the machine and questioning the higher power or just whatever. He was sitting there like, yo, I want answers. Or he was putting it in his proper perspective of like, yo, what if? Like, what if this happened? Would this, what would, it, what would be the result? Would this be the result? Or what if this happened? Would we still be living like this? Like, I love that he sat there, presented those ideas. It was almost as if it was like an intellectual debate, that political type of debate that he was given on the track. And I thought he executed it very well. That was genius and phenomenal. And for that, I have to say, I'm not rating this. He is super, super dope. So with that being said, let me know what you thought of Kyle De Niro with What If in the comments below. And with that being said, that, please remember to be safe out there remember to stay awesome be awesome because you guys are all awesome this is your boy mark and i'm signing off deuces peace